हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप एवरी वन आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन माई लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डन एक्सोगेनिक फोर्सेस मेजर लैंड फॉर्म्स वेडरिंग एंड इरोजन एंड वॉक ऑफ ए रिवर टूडे आई शेल डू वॉक ऑफ सी वेव्स बट बिफोर मूविंग टू न्यू टॉपिक let us revisit the topic that we have done in our last class that is work of a river so students again let us revisit the work of a river so rivers have three stages in its journey from its sources to its mount so stages of a river there are three stages of a river stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 so first let us see stage 1 this is the mountain stage where the river is young and powerful it cuts deep gorges gorges means narrow valley with steep rocky walls located between hills or mountains makes v shaped valleys and travels over steep slopes making waterfalls and most of the erosion takes place here in this particular stage 1 so now let us see stage 2 in this stage the river enters the flat plains and slows down this makes the river lazy and it begins to twist and turn this is the meandering stage so here severe loping so loping means curve shape takes place and at times the loop gets cut off at the base completely the cut off loop is called an oxbow lake the river floods over levees so levees means an embankment alongside a river produced naturally by sedimentation or artificially constructed to prevent flooding and deposits of fresh fertile layer of soil over the plains it floods so this area is called its flood plain so this is the second stage of a river so now let us move to the third stage so the river at this stage is slow and forms channels or distributaries so distributary is a stream or river which flows away from a large river it decreases the volume of water of the main river so this is is what call distri distributary the load of silt and clay silt means fine uh, sand clay or other material carried away or carried by running water is deposited here making many small triangular islands and ultimately a large delta is formed 
So what is a delta? A delta is an area of low flat land shaped like a triangle where a river splits and spread out into several branches before entering the sea. So, now let us move to next topic that is work of sea waves. So, the erosion and deposition of the sea waves give rise to coastal landforms and they continuously strike at rocks developing cracks and these cracks become larger and wider over time, due to which hollow like caves are formed on the rocks and they are called sea caves. So, sea caves are formed primarily by the wave action of the sea. And again, when these cavities become larger or bigger and bigger, then only the roof of the caves remain, remains. It forms sea arcs. So, next, when Erosion breaks the roof and only walls are left. Then this wall-like features are called stakes. So, stake is a geographical landform consisting of a steep and often vertical column or columns of rock in the sea near a coast formed by wave erosion. Now next, when this, the steep rock, rocky coast rising almost vertically above the sea water is called sea cliff. And the beaches are formed by the sediments deposited along the sea or along the shores by the sea waves, thus forming beaches. So students, this is all for today. In my next class, I shall do work of ice and work of wind. So here I conclude. Thank you.